Are you going to take the red pill or the blue pill? Matrix lovers, you tell me. Oh my loud, they're bringing back the Matrix. Who asked for that? Did anybody, did you ask for it? I did not ask for this. What's going on? I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. We're here to talk about Matrix 5. What? I love Keanu Reeves. Ke uh, Carrie Ann Moss, she's great too. But what are we doing here, folks? Do we really need a Matrix 5? Do we really? I don't know. I'm here to remind you why we don't. That's right. I have evidence and proof, but let's talk about it first. Let's look at the story on Deadline. New Matrix movie in the works. And this is... I wonder... What? Drew Goddard's going to write this. Write and direct or just direct? Drew Goddard, the Oscar-nominated screenwriter of The Martian, who also directed The Cabin in the Woods. Things I... Well, I like The Cabin in the Woods. Is going to write and direct a new Matrix movie. The franchise's original co-scribe and co-director, Lana Wachowski, is executive producing. So Lana gave up her rights. Does anybody remember what happened in the last one? It's not so good. No, not, not so good. 25 years ago that Lana and Lily, you know, the Wachowski bros back in the day, they made a movie called The Matrix, which I remember being a wee child back in 1999 and having my mind blown and having some friend sit next to me who was like, what's going on here? I don't understand the Matrix. Is it real or is it not? What's going on? Literally could not comprehend. It melted his brain. He was no longer able to function as a normal human adult. He needed adult supervision from then on, including whether or not he could go to the bathroom properly. That's how that's how much the Matrix blew his mind. But the entire Warner Brothers Discovery is thrilled for Drew to be making, making this new Matrix film, adding his vision to the cinematic canon the Wachowski spent quarter of a century building here at the studio. Oh, this is... it's not uh, Goddard said, it's not hyperbole to... Say the Matrix films changed both cinema and my life. Lana and Lily's exquisite artistry inspires. Do you remember the Merovingian? I remember the Matrix being good. I remember the Matrix 2 being like, what am I even watching? What's the Merovingian? Why am I, why are we on a train here? And then the Matrix 3 revolution. What? I yeah, that was that was uh Will Smith's wife being all sorts of angry in that. So and The Matrix, it's still a mind-blowing, amazing movie. I highly recommend it for everybody. It 100% changed visual effects with its bullet time, green screen action sequences. But what in the world are they doing here? Do we not remember what happened in the last one? We don't, do we? Let's take a look at the Rotten Tomatoes real quick. For those of you who don't remember, The Matrix Resurrections came out three years ago. And, and look, it re reprised the original cast. But guess what? The film hated itself and hated everything about itself. Didn't even make sense. 63% on the critic score. 63% on the audience score. Wow, everybody agrees here. Because they agree it's not that good. If it lacks the original's bracingly original craft, the Matrix Re Resurrection's Revisits the world of a franchise with wit, timely perspective, and heart. The Matrix fails short compared to the original, but doesn't skimp on the action or cool visual effects. So basically, the audience was like, yeah, tasty popcorn. I enjoy eye stuff. I like it when you pop fight scenes in my eyeballs. And then the rest of it was like, yeah, this thing is a, it's a thing that hates itself. Interesting. Very interesting. So if you recall the movie, which most people won't remember, the Matrix resurrection scene is a, has a scene about doing a sequel without its creators that has some truth to it. 
interesting. Let's actually let's listen to the to this before we get into the ramifications of this scene. Let's let's just listen to this. Beloved parent company Warner Brothers has decided to make a sequel to the trilogy. What? What? They inform me they're going to do it with or without us. I thought they couldn't do that. <sighs> oh, they can. And they made it clear they'll kill our contract if we don't cooperate. Oh, really? Is that what's going on here? Interesting. That's a thing that happened in the movie. They're like, oh, we either participate or we lose our rights to the Matrix completely. Interesting. So the whole thing seemed like a spoof of itself. It didn't even seem like a Matrix. They're talking about how they made the the Matrix without the Matrix, and it's a based on a like a it's based on the movies. It the movie clearly hated itself and was trying to prove it to everybody. To like the parent company, Warner Brothers can't make it. Granted, I will say that Jonathan Groff is I enjoyed him in this. It was fun. He was great. Keanu Reeves, they all put in great performances, but the fact that the movie hated itself and they're like, we brought back Neo from the dead because he, because we had to bring him back because we got to bring him back for the grave because we need more, more Matrix. Well, the things have changed. The market's tough. I'm sure you can understand why our beloved parent company, Warner Brothers, has decided to make a sequel to the trilogy. How do you make a sequel to the trilogy? And Jessica Henwick's in it, who uh, plays Bugs. Who she's great. It's just crazy. Uh, Henwick says La- uh, Lana had so many ma- offers to make ma- more Matrix films, which you can tell if you've seen Resurrections. There's a whole homage scene to the pressure of great uh, pressure of the great above telling her to make a sequel, but those are all based on real conversations that she's had. Ridiculous. They were like, you got, you better make it or we lose the rights to it. And you lose the rights to it. And you can't make any more money off of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel so. This is a thing that people are sad about. Lily Wachowski and Lana Wachowski. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Are you taking the red pill or are you taking the blue pill on this? Do you, do you want to see more Matrix or would you rather see it put to death and move on from this? Do we really need more Matrix? I mean, the Matrix, there was a time and a place for the Matrix, but I just don't know if it's here any longer. I don't know if it belongs in this world or if it belongs in the next. You let me know in the comments down below. Tell me, are you looking forward to more Matrix? Do you want some more? I like the Kung Fu, but I and I like the Gun Fu, but I feel like we can move on from this. Maybe? Don't know. I don't know. Just keep Keanu Reeves out of it. Do something different. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not down with this. Are you down with this? Let me know down below. In the meantime, catch our podcast. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday nights, come join us. It is a good time. We live stream it. You're going to have a lot of fun. It's here on YouTube, but you can also catch us on Rumble. You can catch us on iTunes, all those other places. Join the channel. Super Chat. Help us out. Help us grow this channel. Grow, succeed, like, subscribe. Because if you don't, I'm already on to the next one.